da 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 Hey guys, I'm the Video Gamer World War One here, and today I want to review something. Now I've talked about this in the uh, in a previous video. Uh, this is the complete series of the Next Generation. Now I've talked about this during my Easter video, and I mentioned, oh, I got season one from my parents. Um, anyway. I realize that I haven't reviewed. I reviewed the movies and I reviewed the original series, but I've never reviewed these in detail. I just showed you on the outside. Anyway, these were the first releases of Star Trek The Next Generation. They had been released on VHS. These were released in 2002 to celebrate, I guess, maybe to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the original of the uh, show airing, and I thought this would be the perfect time, because these DVD sets, these original releases are turning 20, and the show, this month, is going to be turning 35 years old. So I thought, why not do a Next Generation video now? I got, my parents got this for me off Amazon, I mean, I asked for it, I was hoping I was going to get it so nervous I wasn't, so thank goodness I got it. And the rest of these I got from a library used. They had them all, like, Five bucks, uh, so they were thirty. But I said, "Hey, uh, would you all? Would you guys accept fifteen? Like I said, I could borrow from the library. Would you accept fifteen? And then they're like, "Okay, yeah, fifteen sounds great." So I got these six uh, seasons for fifteen dollars. My parents got me that. So this is so fifteen bucks with my own money. I mean, that's the cheapest I've ever had. That's the least amount of money I've ever had to pay for a TV show. Anyway, enough talking. Let's open up the sets. So I got the brick style box here. So let's open season one. So here's the front here. Star Trek The Next Generation. Here's the side. Season TNG 1, Star Trek The Next Generation. Paramount was also celebrating its 90th anniversary. So that would mean Paramount. Let's see. Dang, 110 years. Here's the back. Now, this is very different than the other ones, because this one opens up, and this one has this here. Um, so, here's the first set anyway. You open it up. It's like a little flap. The other one, it's like a little data book. Alright, so, here you go. Here's your disc and all the episodes on that certain disc. There's your special features, and it tells you your run time. 19 hours, 43 minutes. All, all of them are like that. And you open this up, and you get Team G1. Oh yeah, all the seasons do look like this. So I suspect the other seasons probably be blue. And anyway, so you open it up like this, like similar to how the older DVD box sets would open. And on each disc, you get the episodes included, and you get. Oh, it doesn't say the runtime of each disc. That would have been nice. And at the end of each season, uh, each each set has seven discs, except season two, which only has six due to the writer's strike at the time. I mean, this one had less episodes. All right, so every season you get a flap here. So, I mean, a little booklet. So you open it up. It tells you... Um, the executive producer, like, someone will mention, Hey, welcome. Thank you for buying this DVD. You find out about the crew. Here's your crew. Captain Picard. Riker. Jordy LaForge. Um, he's played by the great LeVar Burton. Also played um, Kuti Kinte in Roots. And also was the host of Reading Rainbow. A show that I grew up with in Kevin G. Luke Picard. Oh, I forgot who he was. But Patrick Stewart, yeah. Natasha Yar. Worf. Beverly Crusher, Deanna Troy, Data, <laughs> he's funny like Spock, uh, Wesley Crusher, oh yeah, here's how the flap looks all, all laid out, and all the DVDs have this, and you get the episodes for some weird reason, in alphabetical order, and they don't have the air dates, so, I mean, it's kind of nice, you know, if you're looking for an episode, you're like, oh, it aired that date, but... I wish I would have put it on the main thing. It would, you know. Oh well. Okay. 
and oh, uh, these six seasons I'm about to show you uh, do have <laughs> scratches. So I mean, they're not too bad, but I just hope that they all work. I mean, it'll be fine. I can always order replacement sets. It's probably more of the newer edition. Anyway, season two here. See, it opens up like book style. Same way here. Here's your special features. Episodes on each disc. I still can't believe I was able to find it because I was thinking about buying the Blu-ray set for like 130. So this is much better. Not that I have anything against Blu-ray, but you know. Find it cheaper. You gotta go for it. So, so here is your list. Now here's your cast of characters. This one seems to be shorter. Uh, oh, here you go. This one actually has this one has a synopsis of it, all about the USS Enterprise and episodes in alphabetical order. Now I was only going to buy one, but seasons three through seven have um, two parters. So, here's season three. So, yeah, like, The Best of Both Worlds Part 1. If you don't buy season four, you won't get to see The Best of Both Worlds Part 2, which people have said is the best, one of the best episodes ever made for, uh, in television. I've not seen, I've only seen half of season one. Here's all your discs. Jeez, oh, I better hurry. Yeah, don't mind that. Uh. Ah, here it is. Season 3. Uh, a little bit more about the Borg. List of episodes. Cast of characters. Wish I would have said on here, like, oh, Season 3. Oh, season 3 episode guide on it. Season 4. List of episodes here, Best of Both Worlds Part 2, and then Redemption Part 1. So, that's why you also need to buy Season 5. Because if you don't, you'll never get to see how it ends. So here's all your discs, and all the discs are colored to that season. Season 7. I mean, Season 4. Yeah, Season 4. There you go. Here's your bag with all your characters. Here's a little bit more about, uh, season itself. Oh, and about Q. Oh, Q's funny. Um, here are all your episodes again. I hope I'm able to record everything. Because whenever I was recording my Gunsmoke video, there was some more footage. But I wasn't able to get it up. Alright, first four seasons there. Season five. All your episodes, Redemption Part 2, Time Zero Part 2, which means, Part 1, which means you need to buy Season 6. Uh, they do have Blu-rays, or if you just want to own them as movies, like, they're, I, they cost like 20 bucks a piece, but basically you get both movies together, plus a little bit of special features. Here's all your seven discs. Oh, and Redemption Part 2 is right there as well. Um, season 5 was sadly the year, but, uh, hold on. Okay. Yep, that is sad though. This was the season that Gene Ronberry passed away, so. Yep, without him we wouldn't have these awesome adventures. Yep, so episode guide there. It'd be cool if they could all come back and make a next generation uh, season eight. Well, I mean, technically they have a card, so I mean, technically they do. That would still be something cool to see. Next generation season six. Oh yeah, season five, Redemption Part Two, Time Zero Part One, and then this one has Time Zero Part Two, Descent Part One, and then there's a few more two parters. Here's all your. Discs with their episodes on there.
Next Generation Season 6. To have more characters join the card because the card's like, oh, I'm lonely. And then, uh, Simnasa's Season 6. Uh, the Romulans. Oh, yeah, Season 5. Uh, a few of the cast members of the original series do make an appearance. The episodes. Um, Bones is in one of the episodes. Uh, Kirk... In, I mean, uh, Spock does make an appearance. Um, Scotty makes an appearance. And in the movie, Captain Kirk makes an appearance. And so does... I believe... Did you check off our Sulu? I don't remember. I don't remember who... It, it's one of them. I don't rem I don't know if you heard it. It's in this, anyway, Season 7. Descent Part 2 on Good Things. Um, on the Blu-ray, there is like a... You know, countdown. Oh, it's a final episode, and we're gonna have a retrospective, but you don't get it down here. Anyway, here's all your discs here. Oh, don't mind all that in the background. I mean, yeah, my bed's a little bit of a mess. Disc 7. Oh, that's nice. To our fans, when Star Trek began a new chapter in the spring of 1987, I could have never have guessed to what extent this journey would impact the start. Trek Universe, he's like, thank you, you know, for watching the series, thank you for sticking with us. Here's your episodes in alphabetical order, and this is probably the coolest of the posters. You have the entire cast together, and uh, just like that, uh, that is the end of my review. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and happy 35th anniversary. And uh, if you're all wondering if I like this show, it's pretty good. I mean... Let's just say I'm not a huge, huge, huge Trekkie fan, even though I do all the movies and the original series and this monstrosity of a series. Um, yeah, uh, the episodes are quite good. I do like Data, and I do like Picard, and and uh, Jordy LaForge, and Worf, and, and um, Wesley, and Dr. Crusher. But anyway, bye guys. Hope you enjoyed my little review. Happy 35th anniversary to the next generation. And I've really got to watch this series. There's a whole bunch of TV shows that I have that I haven't even gotten through the whole series yet. <laughs> Basically, none of them. Maybe one or two seasons. All right. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye.